hey, I'm conflicted. And I, as well as most likely all of you guys, are guilty of listening to unreleased or leaked music by some of your favorite artists, such as like Playboy Cardi, Kendrick Lamar, Juice World, and the list goes on. But in this video, I'm going to be describing the problems with listening to unreleased music. But before I do that, I just want to let you all know that I have a hidden picture of Playboy Cardi somewhere in this video. And if you find him, let me know in the comments below for a chance to get pinned. Also, if you enjoy music related content, I upload twice a week. So if you enjoy it, subscribe maybe, or maybe even share with a friend. Without further ado, let's get into the video. I'm sure many of you have heard Kid Cudi with Playboy Cardi and Young Nudie. Amazing song, baffling song, life-changing song even. And it's a song that got leaked and shown around to massive amounts of people, and everyone and their uncle is listening to that song, naturally, because why wouldn't you? Even I am a massive contributor to listening to unreleased music. And almost everybody is. It's so easy to get a hold of if it's already out there. And I think the biggest issue with this is that we never got a full version of this song. Not only because of the sample problems, but also because Cardi does not like when his music gets leaked. He does not release a lot of music that gets leaked. And now that's such a prevalent issue because people will force their way into getting unreleased music, which causes a lot of music to get worn out and oversaturated, causing the artist to often lose out on many streams and a ton of money that they could have been getting, which is very important because you want your artists who you listen to to be getting supported most of the time. And in general, if they're not getting the same amount of streams that they would have gotten if they would have just released it, then why would they feel the need to drop it? Unless there's been a lot of hype around it, which we've seen a couple times. You know, people have built up, they, they use the leak to the best of their ability, building up hype for it, such as Lil Uzi Vert with I Just Wanna Rock and Lil TJ with Calling My Phone. But these songs already had massive followings before it dropped, and nobody knows how it could have affected the songs if it wasn't leaked. You know, we could have had double the streams, maybe, possibly. But I, I also heard some people could be leaking songs on purpose just to build hype around it. I don't think the entire songs were leaked, or at least with the I Just Wanna Rock, I don't think it was. I think it was a couple snippets and a little bit of a leak, but yeah, we've lost so many great songs and even albums leaking, such as Kanye's Yandi, which we will never get to hear now because of it was being we used as a gospel album, uh, Jesus is King, which is arguably the biggest unreleased album of all time. This had fans in disbelief because of how well perceived that album was before it got scrapped and turned into Jesus is King. But this group of songs is nothing compared to arguably the biggest leaked artist of all time. This man Juice World has had more leaks than a boat being held together by shoelaces. This dude has thousands of songs just floating around in the atmosphere, the universe, that people sell for thousands of dollars. Y'all greedy goblins have an entire group chat, several group chats and discords just to listen to some unreleased Jared Higgins. This has gotten so bad that he has unreleased songs get bigger than many of his charting released songs. Smile with The Weeknd had like 20 million plays on SoundCloud, bro. That is wacky. And I can't even lie to you, I was doing the same thing. I'll be blessed in songs like Confide, Rental, Same Clothes, and Alright. Like I was never going to be able to listen to them again. And we have seen firsthand on how saturated an artist can be if we get everything at once. Juice World is the biggest example of that, and it's genuinely unfortunate that we may never get to hear the same version of those songs that we love because of how crazy his production crew gets changing the entire beats on some songs. But essentially, we're never gonna get to hear those songs again. So stop listening to unreleased music. Nah, I'm, I'm just I'm just pulling your chain. It's it's pretty much unstoppable. And I really hope that we don't lose more songs to this in the future. But if we do, it's just it's bound to happen. It's a very sad, sad thing that happens. But you could if if it's already out there, it's not like you listening to it's gonna stop stuff. But if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and maybe share with a friend as well as subscribe if you haven't already. I love you all. I'm conflicted and I'm out. Peace.